Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how to reduce lags and increase FPS drastically in BMG Drive. So if you have a low-end PC or a mid-range one and you want more FPS and you're not able to get it even by lowering down your game settings, I assure you this guide will give you your desired dream FPS. And if you're not satisfied with the FPS you have got after watching and doing all the steps, then you have to buy a new PC. This is the ultimate edition for fixing lags in Beam and G Drive. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so first I'll show you my specs and then we'll get into other things. So as you can see over here, I have the Intel Core i5-10400F processor. I have 8 gigabytes of memory. Then I have a 512GB SSD and I have an NVIDIA GeForce GT730. So this just fulfills the minimum requirements of the game. So let's get into the lag fix. So first you have to go into the game and bring down the settings. So let's just do it. And here you can't adjust any resolution because it adjusts itself according to the size of the window. And you got to turn off the vertical sync and turn off the FPS limiter. then turn off SSAO and all these th uh, things dynamic reflection off shadow visibility none and anti-aliasing just keep it FXAA mesh quality lowest texture quality lowest lighting quality is not given shader quality lowest post processing lowest anisotropic filtering off and then grass density, you gotta keep it somewhere around here. Not fully off, but yeah, that should be enough. The entire marks amount, you can decrease it a bit if you want. I'm decreasing it to 1500. Okay. So, our job here is done. So, the first method is over now. Now you have to go for the second method. Second method is if you have an NVIDIA GPU, go to the NVIDIA control panel and then here you can see these radio buttons. There are three radio buttons. Check the radio button, use my preference emphasizing. So click on that and switch from quality to performance and then apply. So the first step was to bring down the settings and the second step was for NVIDIA users and for Intel and AMD users, I'll give cards on the top right corner of the video right now. So you can check those videos and understand how to switch to performance mode. So now the third method. Go to settings. Click on gaming. And on game mode, you can see the related settings, well, graphic settings. And click on that. And now you gotta select desktop app and you have to browse. Browse and find the destination of your game folder. Click on it. And for 32 bit users, you can show this exe file. And for 64 bit users, you can give this exe file and uh, click on add. Now, as you can see, I have already added the game. And you have to click on it, click on options. And it will, uh, by default, it will be in LED Windows Design. But you have to switch it to High Performance and save. So that's the second method. Okay, the third step. Go to File Explorer, Documents, BeamNG Drive. Here, go for Settings and Game Settings.ini. So click on that. I have BeamNG Drive version 0.20.2.0. So, it might be different for others. And here all you have to do is change the values. All the values based on graphics have to be turned down. So, graphic disabled shadows should be zero. Display refresh rates 
don't change that this is your resolution so don't change that dynamic reflection you can keep it zero distance you you can bring it down just make a copy of this and put it somewhere else uh, just for backup in case you mess the file up and graphics gamma you can change it if you want graphics lighting all these lighting quality based things I recommend not to change it because it, it, it changes the lighting quality as you know and we have brought down many settings from the game so you don't have much to do here but you can decrease it to zero if you want each and every one of those single digit values this was the third step okay so the fourth step is to go and strip off the beauty of Windows 10 or whichever OS you have so all you have to do is go to system scroll down system info advanced system settings and here you can go into performance settings and here by default it will be let windows choose what's best for my computer but you have to check the adjust for best performance button so what this does is just lowers the beauty of windows 10 so that more resources are free for the game and that's it click on apply now don't worry your pc might look a bit weird but this is all okay so you can see that the dialog box stays there only the border comes along so this is how it strips off the beauty and as you can see it doesn't show any thumbnails for videos on my desktop let's go to the fourth step and now we go to performance settings and right here you can find the advanced tab so right there if it is on background services switch it to programs and right here you can see the virtual memory so you can click on change disable the automatically manage paging file size and you have to modify uh, click on custom size and you have to modify the size of the virtual memory and you can select the drive so right now I'm not doing it since I have a good amount of RAM for the game so this is for people who don't have much RAM I'll give a card on the top right corner of the video right now so you can check that video out and find out how to increase your virtual memory so now let's see how much gain in FPS we have got I'm going to test my FPS in the Utah map and it also has nice scenery so let's just go into free roam mode Utah West Highway and Spawn let's just wait for it to load there and we'll check out the increase in FPS which is really great I have 40 FPS. Initially I had 10 FPS and now I have 40. So that's a huge achievement. Amazing guys. Just look at that. And we are falling off into the river. Thank you so much for watching guys. Until next video, this is GamingZ007 signing off. Goodbye.